hello everybody and welcome back to the channel oh it's been lovely here where we are we're at the rufford branch on fettler's wharf marina we're still here we're staying here and it has definitely definitely been the right decision to come here we we've got lovely neighbors who keep themselves to themselves and a lot of the marinas like that you know say how you're in passing and stuff but nobody's in each other's pockets which is right up our street we've got a uh lovely friends um our really good friends sheila and colin colin works on the on fettlers and sheila his wife who's you know we might have a daily but for fun things not 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 about um <laughs> the marina um you know and they're, they're there to help us so it's just nice we, we're really happy here we've got electric we've got you know for our work which we said that we wanted to do you know more work from the boat so we could travel further which we have got something in the pipeline and um, which i'm going to be telling you about very very shortly and um, there's going to be another channel so yeah it's it's all coming together and um, we, we're really happy we never thought we'd be on a narrow boat saying we're happy in the marina because that was never part of the plan at all so it just shows you you know what you think you might be doing if you come on an arrow boat you might not do you know and it's nice to be out in the sticks somewhere but for us it's nice to come back and have that base where you're sort of enjoying the boat more because you're going out like on little holidays and little trips here there and everywhere and we're going to go out on the boat as well as soon as the weather becomes a little bit better but it's been a little bit too windy as we know don't we Tony um, and I'll show you why <laughs> we know all about the wind in a minute but yeah, thanks for staying with us anyway. Um, we are back to regular vlogging now. Now we're settled and we've got work sorted and, and everything. We're 20 minutes from the house. So, you know, I can be with my girls anytime. And it's it's and we get that break apart because Tony is ready for killing me at the moment. And he's ready for me to go away. Um, so yes, it's, it's great. Thank you for supporting us still and staying with us after we've been ill and all that palaver and um yes we've got more more narrow boat vlogging to come so this is our our little view there's a little table there and we've got two boxes we've had to put that tire on that tire was left here from the previous person here we had to put it on because the <laughs> what do you call it the wind the other day was flapping them open we're going to put a little seating area in that and we're going to put some of that nice that fake grass we're going to put that round there so we can sit out there's a couple of jobs we've got to do we've got to do these these desperately need doing the seats and also can you see the floor the floor really needs doing with that red stuff i don't know what you call it but let's just have a have a look here so this is the problem we've got on here um they're going to replace all this can you see where it goes a little bit muddy this is duck shit it's duck mug so i will have to go on the side but this is what they're going to replace because when the boats are not here it gets covered in the ducks all come on and it gets covered in it i'll have to hold on because it's dead slippery if you're not stood on that and um yeah can you see it's really bad so they're going to put new strips on they've cut them they've just not done it yet because of the weather and this is the problem we've had can you see that strap we're on we've got 57 foot boat can't see because it's some weather you've, you, can, you can see it now we've got 57 foot boat so we stick out quite bad um well we stick out seven foot but we're on a 50 foot jetty so what they're gonna do is they are gonna give us um we're gonna ask can we have a bigger a bigger jetty and move from here even though we love our neighbours I think it's something that's important can you see the blue strap we've had to strap it or we had to get lorry straps can you see the blue strap there we put that on um, and, it, and it actually tore through it twice the wind snapped that two two times we, we had to put two on and it snapped on both in the wind and we ended up I thought we were going to end up over there <laughs> Tony was up at half 11 at night oops got him slipping Tony was um was up at half 11 at night because the boat was drifting off and we had to get these lorry straps the orange ones to hold it on but it's not ideal filling water up because there were tanks at the front so yeah so we're going to sort that out but yeah this is really really slippery as you can see i'm having to walk on the side so they're going to replace that 
but also there's a couple of things on the boat that we're going to do i think it's on the other side there's little patches of rust coming if you can see that there let's see because i'm studded road god i wish i wasn't so big can you see things like that there's little patches of rust that's appearing so there's another one there can you see it there so yeah there's little patches of rust that we're gonna have to address but send me i'm not doing anything tony can do it all so we've got quite a few things yeah this all needs replacing because it's really slippy um and this is slippy here so we're going to make this our own as well we're going to make this all nice and get it all tidy um because george has got his really nice and he's got it all set up with a barbecue we're going to do the same on ours and get some plants around it and a little little seating area that we can be dead posh everybody's doing their own thing emptying their ash so we've still got christmas trees up Me and Tony are like not far off um, <laughs> killing each other today. I'm really grumpy, which is really, really rare. Um, and he's getting sick of me. So I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to go on for a, for a break. And he's definitely ready for me to go on for a break. I mean, you can guess who's the difficult one. <laughs> and it's not Tony. Um, I am quite hard work, as you know. So that's where we're going to we're gonna go um we found a right little gem of a place <clears throat> excuse me i can't remember the name but it's called i think it's heskin Sh shopping village and it's near charlie and it's it's lovely it's got 40 shops in it it's got two cafes um it's got still sell clothes scarves gifts there's a butchers in there really good butchers there's um dum -dum -dum. <laughs> he's sick of me today he's ready for me to go home <laughs> oh I me mean, fancy saying i'm annoying who'd have thought eh? <laughs> so yes we we are off now to somewhere called heskin village shopping village i think it's heskin i might have to correct myself though you know where i'm like forgetting everything back to front and yeah that's where we're going it's in charlie and it's a really really nice place it's got two cafes and stuff and i'll show you when we get there really nice so we're off to this little shopping village now we um they did yesterday we went and we decided to go back today but yesterday we went i'm all i'm all a bit tight aren't i i'm feeling dead excited because i've lost a bit of weight <laughs> and i can get in me i can zip this body warmer up but i think it's pushed all all my bellies and my boobs right under my chin um because <laughs> i'm very very i'm very very compacted um in one little space so yes we're going to this little village we'll hopefully get some some stuff we got some fruit from there yesterday and they were they were dear but they were the best nectarines i've ever ever had and we got some um fancy apples which i'll show you when we get back so that's where we're off to now we're off on a little on a little what do you call it? Jaunt. We're on a little jaunt. We're going meandering round places together. Yeah, so what we ended up having to do the other day was Tony had to get up at half eleven and we thought we were gonna be back bashing into George's boat next door and we thought we were gonna we thought we were gonna end up on the other side of the bloody marina to be honest, or, or in the next marina. Um the wind was so so bad that it, it snapped all the cables um and it, it wasn't holding with the rope. So Tony ended up having to get up half eleven and he was out and about um, messing about strapping it up and that in the wind, rain and everything. I was playing township, you know that farm game. Um watching him do it. <laughs> so went down well. Yeah, which didn't go down very well. Um I was I was feeding my cows on my game. I don't know if any of you <laughs> <laughs> and and, and picking me hip, picking me um, corn so i don't know if any of you any of you are on township that play that game township you know not many people admit to it but i am and if you do play that township game on your phone or your ipad or what have you um i'll put my link in 
down below so you can add me as a friend and we can help each other out and fill each other's trains and planes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then um, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> it's not sponsored by Township, this by the way, it's just me showing how sad I am. So yes, that's, um, that's, that's, what a stupid place park. Um, that was the highlight of our night where Tony, you know, we, we finally realised that, you know, although it's not that windy that often, we are still going to have to possibly move um, onto a, a jetty, which is 57 foot, which so we can tie the boat securely. Because as you could see on the picture before, the straps, the industrial straps we've got now are starting to fray and we've only had them 24 hours. So, yes. Um, we don't want to be drifting off, do we? Banging into everybody's boats. <laughs> we more the people doing it to us. Buildings here. They've got pottery studio. They've got everything here. There's there's a little cafe in there as well. They've got a little outdoor seating area where you can get something to eat. And there's another cafe in here. Um, two birds tea room. And it's got all different shops in there as well. And then over there in the distance you can see Heskin Hall. That was open yesterday. They were doing wedding furs there, but they're not today. So. Yeah, I'll show you what's inside.
really nice piece of furniture that. And it's, it's a, oh yeah, it's a boat. That. Nice clock there. Look it's at like it. a cutlery. I don't know what you do with that. Maybe. What would you do with that? It's like a cutlery table. You could put everything in there, can't you? It's like an old boat on it. I like this sign here. Got them up there. I like this sign. Drive German. We're Italian. Drink Scotch and kiss French. Thirty-five quid though. I've no word for it. But yeah, it's a lovely place to come. Come and have a look. I can't video much because it's too As you can see, it's really good. I can't video too much because there's there's a lot of people here and you know they get funny about being on video, don't they? So we're gonna go to a tea room. <laughs> My favourite thing in the whole wide world ever. Um I am trying to lose weight but one slice of cake I can't tell. I can't turn um, you know, can't or what's words now, can't get it out. Um, can't do any harm, can it? A little slice of cake. It's where's all gummy juice there. On the way out, there's a, a tea room that it said was new, so we're gonna go and find it. There are two cafes there, but um, we couldn't show them. That's that Eskinal, and it's down here, and it says, oh bloody hell fire, um, Cafe at the Manor. It's got draft beers. And this is where we're gonna go. It says the hall's closed today, but it doesn't say this is closed. Oh, it's looking a bit closed, isn't it? Pig in hell, pig in hell fire. Oh, I don't know. After all that, we can't even get a coffee shop. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, we'll go to somewhere near Rome. We <laughs> didn't say that. Oh, what did you say? I said near Oh, Cafe Nero, we're going Cafe Nero. Yeah, Nero home. Yeah, Nero home. Um, we, can, <laughs> we, can't, we like supporting small local businesses, but it was it was too busy in there for get a coffee and stuff. And um, there were a lot of people fannying about, you know. Buns, yeah, we bought two pieces of Biscoff cakes. Um, so Biscoff what? Biscoff cakes. Biscoff. Biscoff. Is that? I don't know. See what I mean? This is why I'm going home because he has to have the final set in everything. He always has to argue every point. Um, <laughs> is it Biscoff or Biscoffy? We don't know. If Tony's right now, I'm going. I'm going to ask him to delete this part. So yes, let's um, let's go somewhere else. It's Biscoff, but well, Tony still thinks he's right. But it, it's Biscoff. It's bloody Biscoff. I knew I were right for once. It's on the doorstep. This is it. Ended up um, settling for Cafe Nero, as you can see there. It's really, really nice place, and we've got a couple of coffees there. Two flat whites, no, sorry, two lattes. Tony's got full fat milk with an extra shot. I've just got skimmed milk because I'm chunky, monkey. Home, sweet home. We're back in the marina after a lovely little jaunt out. Somebody must have just come through with the gates being opener. Here we are, and we're back. Let's see if we can spot forget me now. Where is she? Where are you, you little bugger? There she is. There she is. So I've decided to come out. I've got, as you can see, I've got a vimp toe in a cider glass, as you do. And um, I've brought Captain Bruce to come out for a little, okay, let me get my camera around. There you yeah, I've got Captain Bruce to come and sit outside with me. Um, he's, he's not walked far. Here you are, Brucey. Brucey. 
Only a face and mother could love. But he's sat having um he's just looking at the boat. But I've managed to walk him from if you can see, forget me not there. I've walked him from here to where I am now, and he won't walk any further from me. Um so we've just come outside for a bit of fresh air. Here he is, I don't know. Oops, go sorry. Can you see him there? He's a good lad. Um and we've just come outside just to have a bit fresh air because Tony's got the boat at 28 degrees and it's really hot especially for a woman of my age and um, so we've come outside for just a bit of fresh air he's not interested in walking Bruce anymore but he's he, he won't walk for me anyway so he's just stirring at the boat look there's the boat can you see the boat there there yeah and he's just stirring at it and he won't and he won't bloody walk for me so yep I'm gonna have a flimp tour um, and then we're getting an Indian takeaway and then we start the healthy eating tomorrow as everybody does New Year so we'll see what happens so we're back on the boat now all nice and cosy the fire's on it's got lots of logs on it Bruce is comfy he's just had the loudest and longest drink ever and um, yeah I'll just show you we got these cakes from that butcher's not butcher's that farm shop if you can hear me over the water thing look at size of those biscoff cheesecake and i got this as well now i got these yesterday and they were really really tasty so it looks like a normal apple doesn't it but look at middle one sec look it's pink in middle and it's really really nice i don't know what they're called i'll have to find out and put it in description but yeah the pink in middle and they were lovely um, never had on pink flesh apple before but yeah it was really tasty so thank you for watching everybody and you know we're really again we're really grateful for you liking and subscribing to our videos you right, Bruce <laughs> it's making a right racket and um, you know so as always it's goodbye from myself it's goodbye from Tony goodbye from Captain Bruce and as always forget me not bye